As with most of the major cities in Poland, living in Wrocław is pretty much confined to mass housing, with parks in between them. In good weather, kids are everywhere. Just about everything a person might need can be found in Poland's idea of malls, or in a local market that may be located practically in the backyards of these malls. Another source for quick items are the little kiosks that are located anywhere there is an empty space. And right next to them, it's not uncommon to find something quick to eat, too. Getting around Wrocław, as in most larger Polish towns, is done by tram. Tram travel is usually cheap and efficient, with numerous stops covering large areas of territory. Wrocław's tram system has been electrified for more than 100 years. After the communist era ended in 1989, many people started buying and driving their own vehicles. Many times their first car was the two-and-a-half person Fiat Polski. But then walking is still a popular option. Wrocław straddles the Odra River, and this brought about the obvious need for bridges. More than 70 of them allow for quick movement around town, and several are quite unique in design. Points of interest abound, even in this industrial city. From the old town square, museums, art displays, panorama, a huge circular painting, and underground restaurants located under strange-looking buildings. Also, there are quite a number of statues and monuments depicting historic Polish people and events, such as Poland's Copernicus. It is said that Poland's gross national product is its Catholic churches. In fact, in Wrocław, there is a whole island in the middle of the river, Ostrov Tumski, where quite a variety of them can be seen. Architecture here is quite varied. All eras are represented. This is especially amazing when one considers that the Nazis nearly leveled Wrocław on their way out of town during World War II. Wrocław's main train station is located on the east-west route that traces nearly a straight line from Western Europe to Russia. This busy station is quite clean and a very large number of people pass through it daily. A very nice way to spend a day is at the People's Park featuring the Hollow Lodova. Beside the beautiful park's flora and fauna, this magnificent building was constructed in 1913 and still serves as an exhibition hall and theater. Directly across the street from this park, Wrocław's world-class zoo is conveniently located with many exotic-to-the-region exhibits.